So when it comes to manufacturing excellence, I always like to know how long a company has been in business. Now, Mobile One has been in business since 1911, so that's a long time. However, Schaefer's has been in business since 1839. That's 72 years more experience than Mobile One at making oil. So the question is, is Schaefer's as good or even better than Mobile One? Well, today we're about to find out. We're gonna run these oils through several rigorous tests and see which brand is the best. Oil companies spend a ton of money having their products tested using expensive test equipment, including ASTM, SAE, or API testing standards. While I don't have the wealth of an oil company or expensive test equipment either, there are some oil properties that can easily be tested to compare oil performance. There are many important functions of engine oil, and the three that we'll be measuring include the ability to handle exposure to heat, wear resistance, or film strength, and cold flow performance of new as well as oil that has been exposed to heat. In the first test, we'll measure cold temperature oil flow. When the engine is first started, oil flowing to moving parts is very important, and we want the oil lubricating the engine as soon as possible. To test cold temperature performance, I'll place the oil in a freezer that's set to 15 below zero Fahrenheit and leave it in there for 24 hours. Later in the video, we'll compete these two brands head to head to see which one has the best cold flow performance. I previously explained the American and Petroleum Institute donut along with two important pieces of information including viscosity grade and the two-digit code. Both the oils we'll be testing today are 5W30 full synthetic engine oils designed for gasoline engines. Costing $13.87 for one quart, Schaefer's Supreme 9000 is a full synthetic engine oil designed for gasoline engines. It exceeds API service classification for Essen. It's also ILSAC GF5 and GM Dexos 1 compliant. It exceeds vehicle manufacturer specifications for Ford, GM, Chrysler, Toyota, and Honda, along with several other brands. Friction modified with Micron Molly and Penetro to provide strong protection against wear, scuffing, and abrasion. Resist thinning in higher temperatures and quickly lubricates in colder temperatures. While we won't test all these claims, we're going to test the cold temperature performance and the impact extreme heat has on oil performance along with just how good this oil is at preventing wear. While the first test we'll be conducting doesn't simulate engine operating conditions perfectly, the lubricity test will provide us with some terrific information on oil performance when it comes to film strength. We'll soon see just how good Schaefer's Micron Molly and Penetro can do at preventing wear. If you want to know more about the Lubristi Tester, I put together a video a while back on it, so please consider checking it out. Before we begin the first test, I'm going to go ahead and calibrate the weight scales and then weigh each bearing. After the test, I'll measure the amount of scoring on each bearing by taking the weight measurement and by measuring the size of the wear scar. The Lubristi Test will last right at 10 minutes. During the test, we'll be making sure that the bearing is receiving a constant supply of oil and watching the bearing temperature and energy usage as well. Costing $10.48 per quart, the Mobile One Annual Protection is an ultimate full synthetic motor oil. Just like Schaefer's, it too has been licensed as Essen Resource Conserving, ILSAC GF5, and GM Dexos One. Mobile One claims that it can provide proven protection for one full year or 20,000 miles. As they say, the devil is in the details. So looking at the details, they recommend an extended performance oil filter. They suggest following the maintenance schedule in your owner's manual to ensure your vehicle operates safely and reliably. I sort of doubt there are too many owners manuals calling for 20,000 mile oil changes, but I suppose it's possible. They recommend checking your oil level frequently, and finally, if your vehicle is under warranty, follow the vehicle's oil life sensor or the oil change interval recommended in your owner's manual. And they say extended service is not recommended in severe applications. So let's see just how good Mobile One does on the lubricity test.
Now that the lubricity test is complete, I'll weigh each bearing again and measure the size of the wear scar as well. Schaefer's is on the left and Mobile One is on the right. While both did extremely well in this test, the victory goes to Schaefer's. It's been right at 24 hours, so let's get the testing underway. The Schaefer's is the first to reach the oil slide. Mobile One is moving quickly as well. This is going to be a tight race as both premium synthetics seem unfazed by the cold temperature. Schaefer's continues to make small gains as it reaches the end of the oil slide, winning over Mobile One by less than a half of an inch. Very impressive performance by both brands. In the next test, we're going to see just how well each brand of oil can tolerate the heat. Before we begin the test, I'll be weighing each coffee pot before the test, then adding right at 200 grams of oil into each container. After the test, I'll weigh each container again to calculate oil loss caused by the heat. So why this test? Oil that evaporates quickly isn't going to protect your vehicle's engine and keep it running smoothly compared to oil that can handle the heat. The appropriate test to measure evaporative loss is known as the NOAC volatility test, which exposes oil to 482 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour to simulate conditions in the area around the top of piston rings of engines. So what happens when oil vaporizes excessively? It becomes thicker and heavier contributing to poor oil circulation, reduced fuel economy, increased oil consumption, wear and emissions. Since I don't have this specialized piece of test equipment, I'm only going to heat up the oil to around 375 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. I'll be rotating the oil containers every five minutes just in case there are hot spots on the griddle. In addition to rotating the oil containers on the griddle every five minutes, throughout the test I'll be measuring the temperature of the oil in each container just to make sure the temperatures of each oil are very close. Throughout the test, the amount of vapor coming out of each container appeared to be about the same. However, there's only one way to find out. At the end of this test, we're going to compare how these oils flow once they've been exposed to extreme heat. Will they increase or lose viscosity? The best case scenario is that they will continue to flow the same as they did before exposed to heat. It's been right at two hours, so I'm going to go ahead and take the oil off the griddle and allow it to cool. And once it's cooled off, we'll go ahead and take a weight measurement to see how much evaporative loss occurred with each brand. Mob 1 started off at 407.14 grams. It now weighs 404.66. That's a loss of 2.48 grams. Schaefer started off at 417 grams. It now weighs... 414.4. That's a loss of 2.6 grams. Mobile One won this test by showing less evaporative loss. However, it was very close. So the question remains, will cooked oil for Mobile One perform better than Schaefer's for cold flow? So we're going to once again compare new oil performance to see if the outcome is the same. And we'll see how the cooked oil performs against the new oil. I'll place the oil back in the freezer for another 24 hours. It's been right at 24 hours, so let's get the testing underway. The new Mobile One oil is in the left lane. New Schaefer's is in the second lane, Cooked Mobile One in the third lane, and Cooked Schaefer's is all the way to the right. Just like in the first test, Schaefer's is the first to reach the oil slide. Even though the Cooked Schaefer's lost 2.5 grams during the evaporative loss testing, the Cooked Oil seems to be flowing as good as new. The Cooked Mobile One is flowing very well too. Schaefer's isn't waiting around for Mobile One. As they reach the end of the oil slide, the new Schaefer's barely finishes ahead of the Cooked Schaefer's. The Cooked Schaefer's beats the new Mobile One by less than half of an inch. The new Mobile One barely finishes ahead of the cooked mobile one. Both brands did very well. So Schaefer's will advance to the next round to join Redline, Amazon Basics, and AMS Oil. Only four more oil brands will advance to the next round. Well, that extra 72 years of experience really came in handy today for Schaefer's, and it did a tremendous job on the lubricity test. It also did a great job as far as the cold oil flow performance. Now, Mobile One did win on the evaporative loss testing, but only by a narrow margin. Now, once we retested those oils after they were both cooked, that's where Schaefer's really did a tremendous job. Cooking the oil did not seem to impact the performance at all, while Mobile One did slow down slightly. But again, both oils did very well. However, there can only be one oil that advances to the next level, and that's clearly Schaefer's. Just as a reminder, I'm not sponsored by Mobile One or Schaefer's, and I don't sell either of these products. Anyway, I get all my video ideas from viewers. I hope you've got some more video ideas for me. I'd love to hear about them. Please leave a comment. I read just about every comment and reply to as many as possible. As usual, just want to say thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.